Hi, this video is here to help you with using column subtraction for five and six digit numbers without exchanging. The column method is a method of calculation where the numbers to be subtracted are set out vertically in columns. When using column subtraction, it's important to use our place value knowledge as the numbers must be correctly lined up. Let's take a look at an example of a column subtraction calculation. We're going to begin with a blank place value grid. What number is written on the place value grid? That's right, it says 567,893. I'm going to represent this number in the place value grid using place value counters. What value can you see in the thousands column? That's right, there are seven thousands in the thousands column. In this number, what has a greater value, six or seven? The value of six is greater because it is worth six ten thousands and the seven is worth seven thousands. Next, I'm going to subtract 23,451. Can you complete the subtraction by crossing out the correct amount of counters on the place value grid? Now we're going to check our calculation using column subtraction. Here I have an empty column subtraction template. I'm going to write my subtraction in the template, making sure that I write each number in the correct place value column. We're going to begin by subtracting the ones column. What are three ones subtract one one? Three ones subtract one one equals two ones. Next, we look at the tens column. What is nine tens subtract five tens? Nine tens subtract five tens equals four tens. I would like you to complete the rest of the calculation moving along each place value column. We have eight hundreds subtract four hundreds, which equals four hundreds. Seven thousands subtract three thousands equals four thousands. Six ten thousands subtract two ten thousands equals four ten thousands. Five hundred thousands subtract zero hundred thousands equals five hundred thousands. Our answer is five hundred and forty four thousand four hundred and forty two. Does your column subtraction answer match the place value counters left on the grid? Now I have the calculation eight hundred and thirty six thousand seven hundred and fifty four. Subtract 516,232. I'd like you to create 836,754 using place value counters on the place value grid and then subtract 516,232 by crossing out the correct counters. Next, write the column subtraction in this empty template. Does the answer to your column subtraction match the place value counters left on the place value grid? For your last challenge, I'd like you to carefully look at these column subtraction questions. Can you calculate which numbers belong in the blank boxes? Pause the video here to have a go. Here are the answers. Well done if you correctly managed to fill in all the gaps. I hope this helped you understand how to use column subtraction for five and six digit numbers without exchanging. If you're looking for more maths help, then we've got lots more of these videos on the Twinkle website, so go and check them out. Hi, this video is here to help you with using column subtraction for five and six digit numbers with exchanging. The column method is a mathematical method of calculation where the numbers to be subtracted are set out vertically in columns. When using column subtraction, it's important to use our place value knowledge as the numbers must be correctly lined up. Let's take a look at our first example of a column subtraction calculation that requires one exchange. Here I have the number 368,572. I have made this number on my place value grid using place value counters. I have now written this number as a first step of my column subtraction. Next, I'm going to subtract 45,236. 
The number that we are subtracting is called the subtrahend. The number it is being subtracted from is called the minuend. What do you notice about the numbers in the ones column and why is this a problem? If we look at the ones column, we can see that the minuend is smaller than the subtrahend, which means we can't complete the subtraction. To solve this problem, we can exchange 110 from the tens column. This 10 is equal to 10 ones. So we now have 12 ones in the ones column. This means we now have 12 ones subtract 6 ones. Let's subtract 6 from 12. Now let's subtract the tens column. You will see that we now have 6 tens remaining. I now need to subtract 3 tens from it. And when I do that, I have 3 tens left. 500 subtract 200s is 300s. 8,000 subtract 5,000s is 3,000s. 6 10,000 subtract 4 10,000s is 2 10,000s. 300,000 subtract 0 hundred-thousands is 3 hundred-thousands. Does the answer in the column subtraction match the total value of the counters left? Yes, we can see that the column subtraction and place value chart match, so the answer is correct. It is 323,336. Now let's see what you have learnt. I'd like you to calculate 576,435, subtract 34,108. First of all, I would like you to represent 576,435 in the place value grid and then write the column subtraction. Here is what your place value grid and your column subtraction should look like. Move along each column to complete the calculation. You can use your place value grid to help you with exchanging. Fantastic work. We can't subtract eight ones from five ones. So we need to exchange one ten for 10 ones. We now have 15 ones subtract eight ones, which leaves us with seven ones. Two tens take away zero tens is two tens. Four hundreds take away one hundred is three hundreds. Six thousands take away four thousands is two thousands. Seven ten thousands take away three ten thousands is four ten thousands. Five hundred thousands take away zero hundred thousands is five hundred thousands. So the answer is five hundred and forty two thousand three hundred and twenty seven. For your last challenge, I'd like you to carefully look at these column subtraction questions. Can you calculate which numbers belong in the blank boxes? It's important to remember that the exchanging method applies to the other place value columns too, and not just the ones column. Bear in mind you might have more than one exchange to do in these questions. Here are the answers. I hope this helped you understand using column subtraction for five and six digit numbers with exchanging. If you need more maths help, then we've got lots of these videos on the Twinkle website, so why don't you go and check them out?